Okay, welcome to a tutorial on how to get a domain through Google as the registrar. Now, if you are watching this video, you are part of the MSCT program at Ramapo College. And this particular chunk is just getting the domain name. There are many, many different domain registrars out there. And hopefully you've taken the time to read the information on what a domain name is and why you should get one and how to find or create a good domain. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the technical aspects here. And this is going to start with domains.google.com. So if I typed in domains.google.com, I would end up at this particular page. Now, I am starting with an account that I don't have a domain name with. So one of the first things I can do is I can click on find a domain up here or I could click for find a domain over here. Now the problem with finding domain names is because there are so many out there already, there's a good chance that the one you want is going to be taken. So if you take a look at this, I searched for the term education you can see a couple of different kinds of things. First of all, if it's got kind of this dark gray sad face, it's already taken. You can do what is called a who is search to figure out who owns it. And you might want to try to contact them and convince them to sell it to you. But for the moment, it is not available to you. Um, hopefully you've read the article on top level domain as well as other uh, domain naming schemes. Um, there are a variety of vanity domaining, domain naming schemes out there. So we're starting to see a, a lot of different kinds of things like the .me or .enterprises or .engineering, et cetera, out there. So obviously these are very, very high um, premium types of domains and most of us are not in a position to pay over $10,000 a year for it. So we want to keep moving further down. If I take a look here, um, academies.me would be $20 a year. Um, schools.enterprises would be $30 a year. I suggest that you get a domain based off of your name. And I'm going to do the same here. Now, fairly interesting types of things in this particular case. Um, I actually own a couple of these domains, including evehorner.com. And notice that it's a premium, meaning that it would be $800 plus $12 a year. If you own a domain that somebody else wants, um, there's a couple of things you need to pay attention to. You, you want to read your service provider's um, details in terms of transfer of domains and how to go about doing that. And you want to make sure that if that's a domain for you, you want to hold on to it. Um, meaning you, you do want to pay attention to your domain provider and what they say about people who are trying to purchase domains. So example up here is that if I wanted this domain for my business, I would have to pay a fee to get that domain basically sold to me from somebody who already owns it. I'm going to come down here and I am going to choose evehorner.org. This is a $12 a year domain and that is more than fine for me. It is similar to some of my other domains, so that's good uh, a good deal. Um, I'm going to click on the little shopping cart. I'm going to proceed to the checkout and then I'm going to go ahead and complete this information. I am not going to be able to continue this particular video after this point because it gets into financial details, but I would encourage you to go ahead and finish this up. I will be back in another video tutorial on what happens after you set up the domain and what you need to do to get it to point to your MSCT portfolio. So see you in a few moments.